Want to know how to make your house indestructible? Or how to completely hide your base using only turtle eggs? Here are 43 of the most illegal bases in Minecraft. Using maps and item frames, you can build huge 2D replicas of fake blocks and create super detailed hidden entrances you can use to hide almost anything. Check out this desert. See anything wrong? There's actually two hidden bases here. One inside this cactus and one behind this sand block. All you need to do is place the maps inside an item frame placed on a sign and your base is suddenly invisible. You can actually make a base in the void. Sure, you can't place blocks down here, even in creative mode, but there's an illegal workaround. Using a chicken, leads, and boats. You can spawn shulkers down here and walk on them as if they're normal blocks. They'll even use levitation to send you back up. Look, all of us have wanted to live inside a video game at one point, and with some glass, terracotta, and buttons, you can. Imagine seeing this while playing on your Nintendo Switch. Hang on. I think I'm trapped! Let me out! Let me out! Huh? Oh god, that's even worse! This base can't be blown up, even with 1000 TNT. Surrounding your base with waterlogged stairs makes it completely protected from all explosions, including creepers, completely going against what Notch intended. Sorry, bro. This illegal machine lets you open a door simply by taking off a piece of armor. If you set it up exactly like I did here and turn this lectern to page 8, you'll create an undetectable, illegal entrance that you shouldn't be able to build. Oh, it also activates when a ravager roars, but I think you've got bigger problems if that happens. If you're ever stranded at night surrounded by mobs, you can use a... Uh, composter? But that's right, jumping inside a composter with a trapdoor on top protects you from skeletons, creepers, and all other mobs in a pinch, making this an illegal, completely portable base. But if you want a more permanent house that's just as quick to build, try bone mealing a red mushroom, chucking a floor in, adding some decorations, and you've got a perfect little fairy tale house that definitely wasn't meant to be a base. If you hide a leashed chicken underground, you can attach the lead to a fence and make what kind of looks like a floor balloon house. You can add some actual balloons up top, and you've basically got the house from up. You know those little waterfalls that come out of mountains? They're perfect for secret entrances. Just break one block behind the source and dig down a little, and then you're free to build anything you want down there. Just be careful not to place any lights too close to the entrance, because that looks sus. If you use invisible item frames with the fake block trick from before, you can create one-way glass that you can use to secretly spy on all of your friends. This one definitely feels illegal. Uh -oh. It was a creeper! I'm always finding myself running out of room for storage, but who said we're not allowed to just build a house out of barrels or chests? Problem solved. Now I can get all of my items when- Hey! Give that back! Okay, okay, everybody knows about the painting entrance by now, but what if we use that to our advantage? All people do is walk into the painting to see if there's anything hidden, but this painting has a pressure plate behind it you can activate with an item. I guarantee you, nobody will find this one. Let's face it, everybody's realized that Amethyst is pretty useless, so I don't think any one would mind you setting up camp inside one. They're the perfect size to fit all your decorations in, and crimson wood goes perfectly with the amethyst color. That's just cherry wood if you're living in the future. Gathering materials for a base can take forever. Why not just cut that part out entirely? Leaves are the fastest block to collect in the game, so just shear a bunch of them and build your house out of those. I'd make sure to set up a few uh, lightning rods though, because that could go very wrong. But if you want to take it even further, try building this thing instead. It's got all of the blocks you need for a home, including a brewing stand and an anvil. And you're even safe from mobs in the bed too. I don't know if I'd call it a base though. It's more like being homeless. You can make a perfect little cage for parrots by pushing a piece of stained glass on top of them. For dogs, try a solid block instead. Sometimes the hardest part of building a hidden base is actually finding a location first. So try this sneaky idea out. Nobody ever goes into these scary water-filled lush caves, so try and take a swim down there yourself. Place a door and get to work. But come on, a regular door just isn't gonna cut it. So instead, try placing a pressure a plate on the other side of a corner like this, connecting it to a piston and using an arrow to activate it. It works underwater too. Most people think underwater bases have to be super complicated and hard to build, but you can actually just chuck a bed and some chest down and it works fine, if you can hold your breath. Honey blocks are actually just a tiny bit smaller than a regular block, which means you shoot directly through them. It means you can also use them to create secret perilous pathways to your hidden base. Bonus points if you chuck some dripstone at the bottom to really make it dangerous. For some weird reasons, you can phase straight through shulker boxes if you open them in a certain way. All you have to do is stand on top of one with a roof above your head, and it'll push you down and through to whatever you've built below. Speaking of shulker boxes, they're actually invisible when you get 
out far away enough, just the same as beds and chests. So to create your very own totally invisible base, just set up a couple hundred blocks, build a shulker box platform, place a bed, and you're golden. Nobody will ever find this. But sky bases can sometimes be a little annoying to reach. So for a super accessible and equally hidden base, try this. Head to any snowy biome and stick some scaffolding underneath a random block. Put the snow back and you've made a completely undetectable underground base. And one that looks really funny to enter too. Natural structures are basically just pre-built houses for you to use. Shipwrecks and jungle temples work great, but my favorite is the desert temple. Not only does it come with multiple rooms and doorways, it even has a section up top that perfectly fits a fully built beacon. What a time to be alive. Here's how to make a completely hidden base beneath your bed. Dig a hole beneath where your bed will go, add some trap doors up top, and two minecarts placed like this on top of some ladders. Then add two beds on top and surround them with more trap doors. Trust me, nobody's gonna find this. And if they do, ask them why they're sleeping around your bed. You could also just use a stair below the bed, but that's way easier to see. Now, obviously, the best way to hide a base is to simply just put it behind a wall. But breaking and replacing the wall every time is so annoying. But luckily, there's a solution. If you create a stone generator that replaces the block that you break, all you'll have to do is break the blocks each time, and they'll magically cover up the entrance every time. I guarantee every one of us has tried to build one of these tree houses in the jungle, but let's face it, they look terrible. Instead, head to a tiger and try this house instead. You can build it in two minutes for super cheap, and it keeps you safe from all the mobs. Ah! Except phantoms! The cold biomes offer a bunch more cool houses too, including this ice spike base I built when I was just a lad. It's even simpler than the last one. Just clear out some ice, chuck a door on, and now you can pretend you're Superman! The powder snow you can find in these biomes makes for an awesome hidden entrance too. Not only can you hide some in the ground like the scaffold entrance, you can create a hidden ladder up a cliff with it that you can only climb with leather boots. We can take another of Etho's ideas and use a lava curtain to make a hidden entrance. He uses ender pearls, but come on, it's a man cave! Be a man! Ow, ow, it's so hot, ow! Instead, try placing a minecart behind the lava instead. It will stay hidden and allow you to hop through easily. And it's not so damn painful! With all the carpet traps out there, most people are terrified to even step foot on them, which makes them perfect for the most illegal hidden entrance yet. You can jump on turtle eggs through carpets, and it'll break the carpet as well as the egg, sending you straight down to anything you build below. Sea turtles are endangered in real life, by the way, making this one actually illegal. If you place perfectly white maps on sea lanterns or glowstone, you can make a super trippy infinite room. Most people use this to troll their friends, but honestly, I think it makes a super cool house. Just try not to get a headache smacking into the walls. You can use a similar trick to make custom wallpaper for your house. Depending on your dedication, you can make custom blocks, simple patterns, or super ornate drawings rivaled only by glazed terracotta, whatever that's supposed to be. Using a hoe or a shovel on dirt will send a pulse to a hidden observer, letting you create wild hidden bases like the one Mr. Insane made in his world. This does seem like a lot of effort for a single player world though. What are you hiding it from? Hero Brian? Something slightly more practical is this instant base idea that uses nothing but saplings. At the start of your world, put some oak saplings down where you want the walls. Once you're back from mining or looking for food, your house will have literally built itself. Walking over or punching redstone or activates observers, meaning you can create hidden cave bases really easily. Or even hide some under a carpet or snow for a hidden entrance that'll probably just end up getting activated by a chicken or something. For something a little more secure, try hiding a hopper beneath a block and having a special item filter that only opens with a block named a certain way. Hoppers work under snow, slabs, soul sand, or even path blocks. But you can take it one step further by using a hopper minecart instead, as it'll pick up items through literally any block in the game. Hoppers can take items through path blocks because they're just a little smaller than a full block. We can take advantage of this in another way by hiding a lever under a tree next to some dirt and using a shovel or hoe to reveal it. But the most illegal of all to get a house is to just walk up to a village and steal one of the houses for yourself. It comes with a bed, a chest, and... Huh? Oh, no. Get over here! Stay down! You! Subscribe right now and nobody gets hurt! You hear me? Subscribe!